Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing letting the person in front of me decide what I eat. Um, that has been like a challenge that's been going on on YouTube for like a while now. I think it was like really popular a year ago, but I just recently found out about it and I've been like obsessed with watching them. So I've been at home for like two weeks. I've been self-isolating because like I was um, sick with a cold for a while. Um, I, and I'm like recovering right now so I've been like pretty cautious about like not going out and like you know the whole social distancing but I'm like having withdrawals from not being outside like I miss being outside so much so like I convinced my parents to let me go out today you know just get drive through I prepared like gloves with me because you know like touching like the card and like the food like my parents are so worried they gave me like Clorox wipes they're like wipe down the paper bag with this and I'm like it's a paper bag I'm not gonna soak it with Clorox wipes like I'll just wear gloves so yeah we just gotta stay cautious you know be safe and healthy I'm spending my time right now trying to think about like where I want to go Chick-fil-A, in and out McDonald's. Okay, let's just do McDonald's first. That's like a safe choice, you know? You can't go wrong with McDonald's. Okay, so I just had to readjust my phone because it kept falling because I don't have a car mount. So I've been like putting it against my dashboard and every time I go for a bump or like slight movement, it just, my phone falls down. So that's why I had to cut it. But yeah, we're finally at the drive-thru. This is going to be weird. I don't even know what this what car this is. It's a Mazda 6. I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's like a white looking compact car. I don't know my cars, obviously, as you can tell. <laughs> Hi, this is a weird request to make, but could I get the same exact order as the person in front of me? And that'll be all. Maybe if it's a nice the person though. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, I don't know what they got. They didn't tell me, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure the person in front of me heard because she has her windows open, but you know what? It's whatever it's fine <laughs> I don't care oh gotta get my card out we have to wear gloves to shoot Thank you. Oh, this is going to be exciting to <laughs> see what we got. So, yeah. Let's see. Actually, I can uh, check on the receipt. Damn, she got a lot. What the heck? Okay. She got one McDouble, one Mac Chicken, one large French fries, two cheeseburgers, one medium Sprite, one six McNuggets, barbecue sauce, sweet and sour sauce. Okay, maybe this is like the only restaurant I need to go to drive through then because that's kind of a lot of food. I'm, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to finish all that. And I don't really drink soda because I don't really like carbonated drinks, but I'm not going to let it go to waste. Probably just like give it to my dad or something. I might drink it. Like Sprite's not a big deal. I got a medium Sprite? Yes. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day. Oh, 
Okay, guys, um, let's see how much food this is. I mean, like, I already read it off the receipt, but I feel like when you see it in person, it's like a lot bigger. And I still have my gloves on. Um, so actually, I'm gonna leave my card out because I gotta Clorox that later. Because I think the woman in front of me, she ordered for her family, which makes sense. Like, that's why everyone's doing drive through nowadays. Like, you can't dine in, you know? Because I didn't think she was gonna order that much, but I'm like, when he's like, oh, it's like 15 bucks. And I was like, oh, okay. Probably ordering for her family. Makes sense. This is a big Sprite. So yeah, we got like two fries. So this is one. This is the other. We got two cheeseburgers. Okay, two cheeseburgers. And one mac chicken yay i love mac chicken i usually my to go order at mcdonald's is like one mac chicken one large fries or like two mac chickens fries so yeah i'm happy i got my mac chicken uh what else oh yeah i got a mcdouble got that too and one more thing got a Oh, the six piece chicken McNuggets. Okay, cool. Oh my god, these gloves. Let me hand sanitize though. I've got my handy dandy hand sanitizer. It's not even bath and body work, surprisingly. Okay, that's good enough. I'm like over it. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I woke up late. I'll just start with the nuggets. Look how small they are. They're so cute. Like, <laughs> okay. How do I do this? I'm like trying to figure out where to. Oh, my dumbass. I could like just put my sauce in here. I was like trying to figure out where to put it without like me knocking it over or spilling it. Oh, this is good. Um, yeah, anyway, okay. So, I asked on my Insta if you guys can send me questions so I can do like a QA, like a mukbang. Um, so, um, all the questions are actually screenshotted on my phone, but I'm using my phone to record right now. Probably not the smartest idea, but I kind of like remembered some of the questions that you guys asked. So, one of the questions was, What are your favorite places to shop at? Fashion Q, for tw Forever 21, Yes Style, Shein, Brandy Melbo. That's pretty much it. Like, I feel like you guys have seen me, like, post so many of, like, my hauls. And you see me shopping all the time. And that was because I was working at Fashion Q last year. So, I'd always get employee discounts. So, I would just, like, keep spending my money on the clothes there. Because I always had, like, good deals and, like, really cute clothes. And I was making money, you know. So, why not? Um, But, so, like, it's, like, when I don't want to shop. Then I don't shop like I can like control myself with that but like so this is what I do it's kind of bad like I don't think I should be doing this but I control myself for a while so that I can splurge when I do shop if that makes sense so like I can tell myself okay I'm not going to shop for like six months right so then I don't shop for six months and then when the time comes for me to shop then I justify it as me splurging. So I'm like, oh, okay, now I can like spend 200 to $300 on like this haul. And so that's like what I do. Okay, sorry guys, my phone died down on me earlier because I left it in the sun for too long. Cause like I said, the sun was like, you could probably see the sun was like coming into the car. So I had to repark um, in a shadier spot. So it should be good now. And then I just like turn my car back on and put the AC on so it's not like, um, you know, so hot in here. But yeah, now I'm eating the mac chicken. I finished the nuggets earlier, and then I was, like, trying to cool down my phone with, like, the AC blowing at it. Um, yeah, so you can get this video working again, but I feel like this is a sign just telling me not to do this video, not to go out right now. You shouldn't be out. Next question that I remember is, um, what's my favorite dessert? Favorite dessert is ice cream. I'm not much of a froyo person, like, I'm not a picky eater in general. Like, I can eat it. If I had a preference, then I'd choose ice cream instead. 
Milk, ice cream, mochi. Mm -hmm. Any like sort of ice cream, any sort of mochi, yes, I will take it. I actually don't even eat dessert that often just because like I favor savory things over sweet things. Like I don't have a sweet tooth. So a lot of the time whenever I eat stuff, it's always like salty or like even when I snack, I like prefer chips. My favorite, boba flavor. So, it kind of like actually depends on like the boba place I'm going to. It's Thai milk tea, that's usually my go-to. Another go-to is like just your classic milk tea, light boba, light ice. One of my favorite places to go to is Happy Lemon. My favorite drink for there would be jasmine green tea with salted cheese. Like I know that sounds disgusting. Like, trust me, when I first heard of it, I was, like, a little sus, too. I was like, uh, salted cheese, like, what's that? Like, it kind of sounds gross. And so I was like, I'm not much of a cheese person, but, like, it's not like that. Like, you have to try it. It's so good. Uh, if I go to a Momo tea shop, their waits are so long, though. Like, they can go up to an hour. It could go up to an hour and a half. Like, they're super long, but... um I personally think it's not worth it waiting that long in line unless it's your first time going. If it's your first time going, you should definitely go. Like, just go, you know, for experience, just go to try it. But I don't think the drinks are, like, that good for me to want to wait, like, an hour and an hour and a half. Unless I'm, like, with a friend and, like, we're just trying to kill time. Then, yeah. But, but yeah, my favorite drink there is the Oreo Cream Brulee. Also, the alley, oh my god, they opened up in Irvine Spectrum. I had it once. I went to their grand opening. Waited, like, an hour for that, but it was so worth it. Like, oh my god, their brown sugar milk tea is so good. Like, bro. After I had it, I've just been craving it. I haven't been back, though. Like, I was supposed to go with my friend Charlotte. We were supposed to go, but then, like... I last minute I had to come home because of like the whole coronavirus thing and like my parents wanted me home and like they were freaking me out because my mom was like texting me she's like oh yeah they already like they already have like the bay area like in shelter they already like made everyone go into like quarantine and stuff like they're gonna shut down the city like LA and OC are gonna come next so she was like freaking me out so like when she texted me I literally had to pack up the day of the next day I left so like we never got to go back again but oh uh, when we can finally, when I go back up to Irvine, oh my god, I'm so getting my boba. Like, I miss it. How do I edit my photos? Okay. So, honestly, it just depends because half of my photos are edited, half of them are unedited. Some of them are, like, more edited than others, some of them not. It, like, really just depends on, like, how good the lighting is. Like, you know, if I have, like, pimples on my face or something, if I'm not wearing makeup, blah, blah, blah. But pretty much... When I do edit photos, I usually use the app Meitu. I think that's how you say it. It's like a, it's like a Chinese editing app. Um, it's if you guys know what Snow is, like that's the Korean one. This is like the Chinese version of Snow. That's pretty much what it is. So I use that. There's never like one filter that I use consistently or a lot, and it's not because I like edit them heavily because I'm really indecisive about like what filter I want and, and then I'll use Photoshop sometimes if I need to like Photoshop something like if there's like people in the background I don't want them there or something like that then I'll like Photoshop bucket list okay so there's actually a lot that i want to do like i have a lot of things on my bucket list but i'm not going to name all of them that's just way too much and i probably can't remember them off the top of my head so i'll just tell you guys what i remember learning how to bake and cook not that i can't do it not that i don't know how to do it or like i don't but um it's not that i can't do it i'm like i'm bad at it it's just like i haven't really had time to do it because i've just been really busy studying you know, just, like, being a college student. That's how I, like, justify me not cooking is that I'm, like, oh, those 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes that I spent cooking, baking, you know, I could be doing an assignment. I could be, like, getting stuff done. I really want to take this time to actually learn how to, like, cook, you know, actual meals. Something more complex than just, like, eggs. So, 
we'll see how that goes um i'm really lazy to do it i'm so unmotivated like it looks good when i see other people do it it motivates me to eat it it doesn't motivate me to cook it though you feel me <laughs> like like yeah i'm down to eat it but do i want to cook it that's another question you know another thing i want to do i want to like try an extreme sport like skydiving um paragliding bungee jumping zip lining scuba diving what else snorkeling like those stuff like i want to do at least one of those if not like all of them like it sounds so fun like, i really want to try like i'm kind of scared but like everyone should try it at least once in a life you know so that would be exciting to do to do at least one of them if not like all of them <laughs> um Let's see i also want to i want to live abroad like at least for a month if not more like i rarely travel to be honest just because i personally don't have the funds to go travel like by myself and um like my parents or like my family is terrible at planning family vacations like we're just so last minute on everything like we procrastinate and then no one can like agree on what places we want to go travel to so it just like never ends up happening so i rarely go travel but like i really enjoy it and i want to do it more especially like to south korea and vietnam because like i'm viet so i really want to like discover my roots like it'd be really interesting like i said another one is south korea <laughs> so many people just like assume that like oh you just want to go because of like k-pop right or like k-dramas or like bts i'm like okay yeah that's some of some of the reasons but that's not all of it like i'm actually really interested in learning the korean language and i love learning about like their history and the culture like i on my own i would like watch youtube videos of like americans who are like living in korea who are teach english for in exchange for living there and it just seems so interesting to me like it would just seem like a really great experience to have i'm like seriously considering living there after i graduate i mean i've never visited so first i would have to visit of course like i would visit stay like a month or two you know to see how it is how i feel about it if i don't like it go back home if I do, then, like, I would consider, like, staying there for longer. Like, maybe, like, another year. We'll see how it is. But I really don't mind not living in the U.S. Like, I love the idea of, like, living overseas. Like, I see myself all the time living somewhere else. Not that there's anything wrong with the U.S. I love, you know, California. I like, you know, where I'm at, but... I also just want a change in lifestyle, you know? I just want to explore, like, go see new places. Don't have to limit myself just to, like, South Korea or Vietnam. Like, I just want to travel in general. Um, let's see. Another thing to do on my bucket list. Own my own business. Own a successful business, specifically in the fashion industry. I really want to have, like, my own clothing line or, like, my own brand. Another goal. Oh, bucket list. Obviously, to graduate college. You know, get my bachelor's. Um, have my own house. Like, be able to buy my own house. Ooh, own a dog. Mm -hmm. Once I graduate. Like, once I'm able to, like, get my own place. Like, maybe, you know, settle down a little. Like, you know, be, like, somewhat financially stable. I want to, like, own a pet. Because growing up, my parents never allowed us to have any pets. Not, they don't, not that they don't, they don't like them. It's just that we wouldn't be able to take care of it well. We're always so busy with our own lives. It's like, how can we get a pet? You know, like we can't even take care of ourselves. Like, how can we take care of a pet? So that makes sense. But definitely want to own a dog. Um, I want to get married and have two kids. Not soon. Not anytime soon. Like, not even in like the next 10 years. 
So I'm running out of storage um, and my dad is telling me to come home. He's like, you've been out for too long, which not gonna lie, is kind of true. I'm gonna go home so my parents don't worry about me. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>